Dr. David Allen. I hope you're listening. Please, fellow Bahamian, um, you may have seen the papers of the past uh, a few months of this year that a lot of our kids are the ones who are doing the murderers and some who are being murdered. Well, my team, we're working with these kids because my our theory is this, that the murders that happen uh, for teenage, day teenagers, these are processes which were not intervened in. And so using that concept, we're now trying an intervention process with kids 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, with the hope that we can prevent them from going on to murder. But Mark can tell you, when a kid really carries a knife or pulls a knife on somebody in school, if you don't interrupt that process, something bad is going to happen, as simple as that. But we as a society, we've st stood back, watched it develop, not one year, two years, and it's gone on and on. And finally, what we found is <laughs> none of the government programs would take these kids. What in the world do you expect to happen? Mm -hmm. So we're taking these kids. We have no def um, um, security office. We have no guards. But we feel because we're called by Almighty God to stand with the hurt in our country, we will take the kids. Mark and Ms. Jeannie do a yeoman's task. Come some Monday, come some Thursday, and sit with them and hear your people, your children. If you refuse to do this, refuse to hear them, we're going to reap the penalty. Yes, we can shoot them, and that's what happens in many countries. They become the non-wanted kids of the country. We are, don't believe that. We're Christians. We believe that every life counts. Every life has a, uh, 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 an authority card given by Almighty God, meaning dignity, identity, and value. And so we're not going to give up on these kids. We're going to keep trying. Now, Mark and Ms. Dini, you all must get a little discouraged. We get discouraged when we don't get the participation from the parents. That's when we get discouraged. We know we have a special parents' day, we've right? On Wednesday. We've got a special parent day every single Wednesday from four to five thirty. And we've notified all the parents. But we've just We're got trying to help them keep their kids out of jail. Uh -huh. Because if they don't take our care, they can get the court stick. That's right. And you're saying in spite of that, mm -hmm. we're risking our lives mm -hmm. to be involved with their kids, the parents still not cooperating. They're not. They're Can not. Explain that, Dini, you're a parent. I, I you know, sometimes <laughs> I want to say that I understand it, Dr. Holland. You know, you're a rep, so you can't, you know, you can't use no Sunday school words. So <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I want to say I understand it. But in all honesty, I don't know because if I'm offering, if someone's offering me free service to help me understand my child's language, because parents and kids don't speak the same language. And so Say that if, again because I think the, uh, the yeah. thing did, parents and kids, what? They don't speak the same language. Yes, so they're like ships passing in the dark. In the night. And so we're like, we're like if someone offering me that and, and my child has problems and I, I am running after that. Because it's free. I don't think they understand that. And because we're offering it free, we're there for them. Um, I'm, I'm in the office from 9 in the morning. And, and I make myself available to all of these young people. I make myself available to parents. They're not taking advantage of us as much as they could. We have, we have one or two parents now. We have one or two. And, and one of them could be heard saying, every Wednesday, I'm so happy I come here. Mm. Because I get to talk, and it's so good to see that I'm not the only parent going through something. Mm. So we get the parents together, try to help them to understand their kids' language, because the kids are saying, my, my parents just don't understand me, where there's parents, where there's just a mother. Mommy don't understand me. Uh, how do you talk to her? While she's washing dishes, while she's walking, she's getting ready for work. I have to talk to you when I come home. That's the language. They're not understanding one another. Sometimes, Dr. Allen, it, it, it calls for us as parents to just stop. 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 What is it you need to say? And sometimes it's something so simple, you know. It's not nothing big. Something so simple. Mommy Susie at school is interfering with me, and I don't know. That's all. And, and what we tell the kids is learn to walk away. If we teach them that, then mommy, we want to meet with mommy, we want to meet with daddy, so we could say to mommy and daddy, listen, we say to the kids, learn to walk away as often as you can, then mommy and daddy needs to speak that at home as well. So the kids would understand, okay, so I'm hearing it from Mr. Beckford, I'm hearing it from Miss Deanie, now I'm hearing it from mommy and daddy. There has to be some truth in it. 
Let, let's do it. But they're not understanding. They're not understanding their kids. And then the, we had a mother on Thursday who said, I am so fed up. I mean, when I say, I, I, this is her, I am just so fed up. I, I'm like, I just shut my ears off. I don't even listen to her anymore. Really? Mm. You got to listen. But Dini, they're tired too. Right? She is. Some of them are economically challenged. Some are working two and three jobs. Mm -hmm. And fellow Bahamians, I love my people, but I know they're tired. She is. It's hard. Every week the kid is involved with the school, the police, the gangs, and they're tired. And mm -hmm. I think, I wonder if some have just given up, Deanie. I think to a degree some have. But for the most part, we're here to say to them, you're not alone. Mm. When you get to that place. In fact, we're standing with them. We are. And, and much more than that, we're praying with them. Mm. And, and we understand. Uh, and based on how we live and what we believe, prayer is the key. It's not in the, in the, in the pastor. It's not. Prayer is the key. Listen, a lot of things could be changed. I had an old pastor who used to say, more things are wrought by prayer than this world has ever dreamed of. Mm. So it means prayer still works. It still could change some stuff, a whole lot of stuff. Mm. That particular mother, she's a single mother. She only has two kids, but one's not listening. We met with that kid, and we, un we was trying to understand, is this the kid she was talking about? Child, Your mother was saying she can't understand the kid. Yeah. When you guys met with the kid, you, no, we were like, no problem. Well, is this the same child? And so, because we sit in the circle, I'm looking at him and he's looking at me and we're wondering the same thing. <laughs> is this the kid? This girl has WNBA on her mind. This is her goal. Now the thing is Wait, to no, get I, her I, I, I'm not cool. What's basketball. The, a world professional women basketball women. And she's good at that. She's good. So you, so she's the girls, in her starting the girls in group too then? Yeah, yeah we've so got the girls, girls tough too? Oh yeah, yeah. tougher. And she's tougher? It. Yeah, the they don't back down. The she, girls don't back down. She issued a challenge to us and then um, they test us. And um, she, she, did. she didn't know that, guess what? I told her, I said, I'm coming to you again. Yes. And Friday I went to she told you, you, you told you you're coming yeah. to the game. Yeah. And Friday I went to a basketball game and there she was. She look she she looking at me like every little five seconds like Is he serious? Is he serious? <laughs> she enjoyed she, the attention. Like, yeah. She didn't she didn't believe you would follow through. Yeah, exactly. And their whole life has been and, people and, don't care about us. And, exactly. say, and like I could read a man like it's my how long is my gonna stay on it? <laughs> you know, I noticed she going by her friends and came back. She came sit way back there again, she looked at me this again. <laughs> <laughs> then she walk off and going back by the team. I, I, damn, I, 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 even, I, I started enjoying the game because mm -hmm. it was, you know, I know that she come back again. And I know, it. then with half time when the team, when the game was over, I know there's a couple other girls come and start calling me Mr. Beckford. Hello. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know, now I didn't know them once. That's like, okay. Mm -hmm. I had you all know, I introduced myself to her. Mm -hmm. And what you do, she just smiled. Yeah, there you go. We didn't have no big conversation. Wow. You know what I mean? But That's I was right. like, wow. And when she threw things. out the challenge, when she threw out the challenge, Mr. Beckford said, oh, so you play basketball. Mm. Um, where are you in that game and what, what part you play in the team? And, and she goes, oh, I'm in the starting five. <laughs> um, Mr. Beckford said, oh, so you are going to the game. I'll be there. And she was like, oh, no, I'm, I'm not going. I'm not going to play anymore. Mr. Beckford said, if you're in the starting five, you will play. <laughs> and so he spoke to her at that level where she is interested all I mean all out basketball. And so we said to the mother when we met her, listen, don't hear her with your ear. Listen to her with your heart. Say that again, Dina, it's so important. Yeah. Hear hear her. Whatever she said, hear her with your ear but listen to her with your heart. You'll be able to understand what she's saying. And then with patience, we can turn this around. Wow. It was exciting. It was exciting. Mm -hmm. we, Dr. Allen, you know, we have a culture and a traditional approach, whereas we want the children to come to us, mm -hmm. which is fine. I have no problem with that. But we are faced with a dilemma now, whereas um, for the children to come to us, we got to meet them where they are. Mm -hmm. A leader doesn't call, a leader doesn't wave a hand and say, come, a leader leads. That means I gotta go where you are and bring you here. 
understand? And most of these children, they don't end up to us because they are swayed by the way trying to get to us. Mm -hmm. You know, Jeannie you know, and Mark, one of the hardest ones for me was um, after Hurricane Matthew, and that dear lady came to the family, and she says how the four children were holding her as their roof was leaving the house. Mm -hmm. And it seems so sad. But then the saddest thing, maybe two days after Matthew, the oldest child who was there, 16, was gunshot or killed mm -hmm. in a building close by. And then a couple months went by, and the two twins boys I met in our program. And um, apparently they were there because they, the mother said they were saving money to buy a gun to revenge the death of the older brother. Two 14-year-old boys. Mm -hmm. So Mark and Denny, they know where to get a gun? Well, they told us it was easy. <laughs> Only I don't think I could say it on the air, but they no, told us you. it was easy. Don't you? <laughs> they okay. told us that it was quite easy. He said it's quite easy to Mark, get a gun. They're saving money to buy a gun 14, to revenge their brother. So Mark, how do you all deal with that? I mean, I'm not Although right then and there, them saving that money to buy that gun. That's their way of saying I'm hurting. Wait now. I freaked out. You said, <laughs> when you heard it, you said they are telling you they're hurting. Yeah, I'm hurting. Explain that. Um, I want to buy a gun. Why? Because I, I'm angry mm -hmm. and I'm hurting. Mm -hmm. So right then and there, that's a red light factor to say, like, now, the, now you need to intervene here now. That means now you got to start putting some attention and time into these children and teaching them some mm -hmm. precepts mm -hmm. and giving them a time that you, would, that you would be able to bring them through a process of healing that they can get to the point where first they identify the hurt within themselves, to forgive, mm -hmm. and to turn away before they turn to mm -hmm. that situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because, but what we do a lot of the times is, Dr. Allen, like you said, there's no intervention for prevention. So there is a collision. And then, then we say, well, ah, what, what, where? So Let me ask, how are those two boys doing in our program? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we just, we can't uh, imagine the group without them. Um, <laughs> they carry us. They get the, the two of them, they carry us. One, one is more laid back and kind of practicing to be debonair. And the next one is just, you, you just got to love them. But here's the beauty. In, in sitting down and talking to them, you know what they said? When we first came here, we wanted to take our money and, and, and buy the gun. He said, but we listened to you, Miss Deanie, and we listened to Mr. Baffer when they call him coach. And you know what happened? We learned that we don't have to hurt anybody. <laughs> and the, the, the older of the two, he said, we're going we're gonna to forgive them. But we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do something differently. So we, we don't want to use the gun anymore. We're just going to leave them. So it, that, for us, that, that <coughs> broke. Fellow Bahamians, I hope you hear. This is real time. Mm -hmm. This is not academic. This is real stuff. This is your people. The stuff you read about, read about in the papers every day. But this couple, Nastini and Mark, they are doing a fantastic job of getting the challenged kids into some main back in the mainstream. You see, you can give these kids a job, but you've got to fix their heart. Proverbs 4 and 22 says, guard your heart, because out of it comes the issues of your life. Ms. Dini said, you can't listen to these kids with your ears. You have to listen to them with the ears of the heart. So they feel that you care. Someone has said, you know, I'll forget what you said to me. I'll forget what you explained to me, but I'll never forget how I felt being with you. That's what Miss Dini and Mark does. We're going to take a break and be right back.